Good day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. I'm going to have a go at a uh, Tom Ken 8D2 Tesla Ben Franklin free energy experiment. Tom's been banging on about it for a while. So here's the idea of it. We're supposed to get a pointed steel stake and uh, an insulated wire and get that as high up in the sky as we can and see what sort of current we get between the end of the wire and a piece of steel hammered into the ground. So, there's the sledgehammer. There's the nine inch steel splitting wedge. And there's the multimeter. Here's the end of the eight millimeter how many strands is it? Oh, probably about 20 strand copper cable. Here's the end of a 25 foot long 4B2. And uh, up here I've extended it with a little bit of Tasmanian oak. And there we have a G clamp holding the freshly filed end of the cable onto the freshly filed quarter inch round mild steel rod which has been pointed with a hacksaw. Okay, right so in theory I should be able to get this thing to go up into the sky. If not I'll make a bit of a mess. Okay, that wasn't hard, was it? So, there we have it. Thomas Kennedy, Nikolai Tesla, Benjamin Franklin, your apparatus is now up in the sky. And we've got our notebook ready to write down any figures that we might happen to see. And we've jammed one probe of the multimeter into our lead going up to the, uh, the lightning rod in the sky. And we're looking to, we're looking to 200 microvolts, the lowest possible measurable current flow. Okay? Watching all this, are we? And we've got minus 0.00, .00 minus 0 0.01 occasionally. You see all that power that's coming from the sky there? So little that it's beyond the ability of my multimeter to notice. We're now going to have a look at 200 micro amps. Uh, whoopsie, that should be there in that scale. Only got to go in here if we're actually looking for um, full sized amps, but we're not looking for full sized amps. We're making serious scratchy, scratchy contact and we're getting no amps, no micro amps, no micro volts. Don't know quite what that setting is, it says uh, milliamps at 1.5 volts. And I would have to say that Mr. Tesla 
and Tom Canate and Ben Franklin as well look to have drawn a complete and utter blank on this experiment. And I would have to say it was not unexpected. This is why I have refrained from pissing around with free energy schemes and scams to try and suck power out of the Earth's magnetic field because I don't think they're going to work. However, most people who don't think they're going to work can't be bothered running the experiment to prove they don't work and I just decided I would be extraordinarily fair-minded in this. But pretty please, Tom, stop bugging me about Tesla. It doesn't fucking work. It's bullshit. It isn't that you can't get free energy out of the sky. You can. But you have to piss around with stuff like this to do it. Photovoltaic panels. Or perhaps solar thermal. But if you want electricity, you know, the simplest and the easiest way. Is to get some of these things and turn your sunlight into electricity, even if it only turns 10% of it into electricity. It does it all day. If there's some clouds, it does it most of the day. If there's a fair bit of clouds, it still does it, slightly, slowly. And what you wind up with assuming you've got somewhere to store your batteries what you wind up with over here 31.4 amp hours a day before yesterday we're on bulk charge at the moment 13.9 volts across all of the batteries 14.1 volts coming from the photovoltaics, 3.9 amps going in there, 16.9 amp hours have already gone in there today. And as it happens, that particular little machine there reads 0.19 below what it should, so you can just add 20% to your amps figures and to your amp hours figures. Okay, so, yeah, I've got... Uh, about 19 amp hours already in the batteries already and we've got a cloudy hazy shitty kind of a day that to me is a whole lot more reliable as a way to spend time and money trying to get power out of the sky than mincing around with bloody lightning rods and tesla free energy collectors if i take a couple of bits of a double bunk and a bathroom stool, put it together with a second hand satellite dish, some alfoil from the supermarket and some contact cement from the hardware store, a little bit of an old road sign and some aluminium angle bracket. I can get 280 watts going into this coffee percolator and boil a litre of water in 25 minutes if I blacken its bum with some soot from a kerosene lamp. That to me is free energy machine that's worth pursuing. Having a solar thermal ramjet on the roof of my car. With inlet holes up the front to feed cold air to the solar thermal collector and blast tubes venting ramjet thrust on the underside of the trailing edge. That to me is a something for nothing machine that is worth pursuing. But really, I think this, this is what's called a Wibniff. A wouldn't it be nice if fantasy. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just poke a shiny bit of metal up into the sky and cover it up with an insulator and then you'll get a current flow and if you do all of that then you won't have to bother about buying a solar panel. Wibniff. Wibniff, 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 Wibniff. Nikolai Tesla had some Wibniff ideas or at least his followers have got some Wibniff ideas. This is a Wibniff. Wouldn't it be nice if 
fantasy. I think I've put Tesla to bed. I hope so anyway. Ciao.